to you about presets and profiles. Since we launched the Refine Times KT Mary pre presets and profile collections, we've gotten a lot of questions about what exactly are profiles, how do you use them, how are they different than presets, do you use them together or do you use them by themselves? So we wanted to do a quick video for you guys and kind of give you a deep dive on presets and profiles. And to be frank with you, it's basically a preference in um, editing style, how you like to edit your workflow, what works for you, and what gives you the best outcome in your final edit. But before I move on, I want you guys to take one second and click that little subscribe button down below for us because we want to make sure you're not missing any of our videos that are coming up because we have a lot coming up for 2020 and we don't want you to miss a single thing. And I'm going to go ahead and give us a quick little shout out to our Instagram and our Facebook group. We have a growing Facebook group. It's growing so fast from people all over the world and the work that's getting posted in there every day is just amazing. So you guys have to jump on in there and we do a lot of like quick, I do a lot of quick edit tutorials in there for people that are troubleshooting or um, want to see how their images look with uh, our presets. I do little videos and post them in there, so definitely join our community. But let's go ahead and get started talking about presets and profiles and how they're different. Now that we're back to my computer, let's take a look at the presets and profiles. Over here you can see in my, we're in develop mode, and you can see under my presets panel, I have Refine Times KT Mary Mobile, presets, and profiles in both black and white and color. When you purchase each of these collections, you will get these three files with them. So what's the difference between presets and profiles? So let's take a look. We're gonna go ahead and start with color since I have a nice color image up here. So I'm gonna open the presets panel and you have everything here and all of this is in a preset. So let's just go ahead and click on Fuji 3 and as you can see, once I've clicked on it, the image has been basically edited. And on your side panel, you can see all of our controls have changed as normal. This is what you're used to seeing when you buy presets and stuff. We got a tone curve, your HSLs are all adjusted, everything here is adjusted. And then you would just edit the photo from there as you wish. Let's warm it up a little. There you go. So let's go ahead and reset that. And let's open up the profiles. So when you're using presets and profiles, you do not use them together. Now, there are developers that have built them so you can layer them. Technically, you can. Ours are not built that way. Ours are built to be to use one or the other. So you would use presets or profiles. And as I mentioned before, we added this because Lightroom made an update um, to their software that allowed us to have a profile option. And some people, as with the new update, have decided they prefer to use the profile option. It does give you a next level adjustability. Um, it's really a personal preference thing, but I wanted to show you how to use it for those that don't know how. And that way you can decide which one works best for your workflow. So now that we have the profile section open, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna click on Fuji 3, and it looks exactly the same as when I did the preset. However, over here, nothing has changed. As you can see, everything is set at zero right now. So, but what we do have here is this nice little um, profile slider and it neutrally comes up at 100 and from there you can slide it all the way down to zero which is the original straight out of camera and you can increase the intensity of it all the way up. Now obviously this is a little too punchy but you might be somewhere in this range. So whether you're matching film scans and it has a little bit more of overexposure or a little more contrast or a little more punch to it, this is one way to quickly get that. And even if you, you slide this, you still have full adjustability of all of your normal tools. So your preset has run basically as a layer and you're able to lower or strengthen, lessen or strengthen that layer and then you can still adjust all of your sliders from there inside of that. So it gives you just one more level of adjustability for the presets or, and profiles, obviously. Um, and if you click on this little window, you'll see here's all of them in the actual profile. So technically, you could click on these in here and take a look at them. But basically, it's the same thing here. I found that I got you know, frustrated with opening and closing this window every time I wanted to try a preset. So I actually built them into a click preset that includes the film grain and everything that we have already set on our presets and profiles. So 
Um, you can use it either way. So if you're more comfortable uh, going through here, let me find them. I just had them open. You can do them through here or you could click over here. That is another personal preference. Um, Thing that's included there. So as far as, and you know, this won't work on these images because these are for nighttime. So let me undo that. Um, but your grain and everything still works the same. You probably won't be able to see that on the video. But basically, that's the difference between presets and profiles. Let me go ahead and click on another image for you. Let's find this one. I'm going to go ahead and get her warmed up a little bit. Go ahead and do this. And I'm just going to click through them and figure out which one I want to use. You can see they all still adjust as normal. I really like three on that. I like four on that as well. Actually, I'm going to go with four. And like I said, from here, you can just increase, you can see it kind of increases the intensity of it. Or if I felt it was too strong and wanted to back it off a little, I could do that. So I'm going to go here. And then I'm going to just adjust the tone a little, maybe lift the shadows just a touch, punch the blacks up if I want to do that. So you got full adjustability and you can still use the profile. And just like before, going to the presets, you can do the same thing. And let's go ahead and get this increase. And then here you would just do the same things you did before. So it's really just a workflow preference. And I hope that explains presets and profiles a little further for you guys. Thanks. I hope that helped you understand presets and profiles a little better. And now you can make a better decision on which works best for you and how to use them. And maybe you use both. I do. I'm definitely a little more of a preset person, but I think that's because I'm a developer and I'm addicted to seeing all of those changes on the side. Um, but I have found myself using that, that profile slider and using it to match film for certain photographers I work for and just to kind of get another creative punch on my edit. So definitely play with them both and see which fits best for you. And before you leave, if you didn't do it earlier, make sure you hit that little subscribe button down below and we wouldn't mind a little like too. Give us a little YouTube love as we grow our channel and bring more content to you. And comment below if you have any questions about presets and profiles. I'm happy to answer them. And let us know what videos you would like to see in 2020.